called Migo and Ali, A to Z of Islam. It's written by Zainab Nian, and it's illustrated by Besma Hossam. This is the chapter about Isra and Mi'raj. The Isra was a journey that the Prophet وسلم, made one night in the month of Rajab. He went from the Kaaba in Mecca to the holy mosque in Jerusalem called Al-Aqsa. Unlike any journey that we make, this journey was a miracle. Do you know why it was a miracle? No? Because he got there very, very fast on a special kind of horse with wings called the Burak. Were you guys going to say Burak? No. no. You were? What were you going to say? Burak. Good. The Burak is named after lightning. So if he's named after lightning, you can imagine how fast he is. Yes. Well, yes. He made it to from the Kaaba in Saudi Arabia all the way to Masjid al-Aqsa in one night. Some say so quick. The angel Jibreel came to take the Prophet وسلم, on this journey. They went to Medina and prayed there. And they also went to Mount Sinai, which is where Allah spoke to Musa salam. And then they went to Jerusalem. In the holy mosque there, all of the prophets met Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and prayed behind him. Then the Prophet وسلم, went up through the heavens all the way to the highest heaven until he was close to Allah. That part of the journey is called Mi'raj. So from Al-Aqsa, from Al-Aqsa Masjid, he went up to the heavens. Yeah, that's the end. Whoosh. During the Mi'raj, the Prophet ﷺ was given the gift of Salah for us. At first, Allah had asked for us to pray 50 times in the day. Prophet Musa salam warned Prophet Muhammad وسلم, that that would be too much for us and that we wouldn't be able to do it. He said to ask Allah to make it less. So our Prophet asked Allah to make it less. Eventually Allah made it so that we pray. Everyone put your hands up how many times? Five times a day, good. After that, Angel Jibreel took him back to the Kaaba in Mecca. When the Prophet وسلم, told people the next day, many people didn't believe him. Why do you think people didn't believe him? Because it's incredible. Do you know, have you ever gone on a long road trip? Yeah. And you sat in the car? And you just kept going and going and going. Do you ever ask Mama or Baba, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Yes. Yes? Okay. So imagine, he went on something that normally took weeks and weeks and weeks to get to, like that, there and back. So when he woke up, when uh, the morning came, people said, like, how? How could you have done that? How? But he had seen... When he was on that journey, he had seen some travelers along the way, uh, along the way back, which would be too far away to see otherwise. So somewhere along that trail that he was going on, he saw people and he told, he described them to the people. And when they showed up a few days later, the people were astonished to see that he was right about them and that helped them believe. Why do we believe the Prophet ﷺ? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us to follow the prophets, right? And we love the Prophet ﷺ, so we believe him. Alhamdulillah.